Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Live Painting with Rare. I'm your host, Darren James Rare. And on today's episode, we're going to be doing how to paint a surreal landscape. For many of you that don't know this, what got me into painting in the first place was uh, surrealism. The works of Salvador Dali and Yves Tanguy and a whole bunch of Marcel Duchamp. Uh, anyway, here's one of my paintings I did back in uh, 1994. It's one of my very first paintings when I was uh, starting out. And you can see it's totally wacko and crazy. You got a bleeding heart over here. You got some kind of zingy zaggy uh, centipede stick. You got these uh, abstract figures which become uh, people. You got the sky coming down, reaching in, grabbing the moon. This painting is called Nearing the Beginning. Sorry about my nose, I'm stuffed up, I'm still sick. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to slap it down and make a surreal painting similar like this. It's going to be a bit different now, it's many years later, so let's see how it turns out. Let's go ahead and uh, get out our materials. We're going to be needing a canvas. So grab a canvas, grab some paint, whatever kind of paint you got. I'm using Liquitex soft body acrylic paint, but uh, whatever you have laying around, grab it out. Get some paints, get some paint brushes, and uh, let's start paint. Now that we got our canvas mounted onto our easel, first thing we're going to want to do is pick out our paints. I'm going to go with the sky on the top and land on the bottom. So for the sky, I've got a uh, cerulean blue and a light blue permanent, both Liquitex soft body paints. But whatever you have laying around will do. So we got that, and then for the ground, we have a nice uh, burnt sienna, that's the brown. And uh, we're going to mix that with some whites and blacks just to get the different shades. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so we got our blues down on our little palette here. We're going to go ahead and dip into the, uh, the lighter blue. And just go ahead and swipe it on top. Now this is after your brush has been nicely cleaned, hopefully. And, uh, just kind of spread it on here. Like so. And then you add in a bit of your darker blue. So you get the sky. Notice I'm going across the canvas this direction. That's what you want to do. Keep it all balanced. Even flow. Even flow. Alright. Now we want to dip into our blue some more. Bring it down here. That's how you get a crazy looking sky. Let's go back into our light blue. Bring it down here. Start over here. Try not to start at the edge of your uh, canvas when you start, otherwise you get big clumps. I usually start over in the middle area and then work your way out. So there we go, we got our horizon line. Just back and forth. Back and forth. Next up we're going to want to add in our land. So for the land, I've got, uh, I've also used a little bit of the yellow. This is a cadmium yellow deep hue. I've added it to my palette. So, and also our um, burnt sienna. So dip a little bit of the brown, dip it into the yellow, and cut it across. There we go. Like so. Just to about there. Now we're going to want to get some more white. Where is our white? I'm running low on my white. I do need a trip to the art store. This is all about blending, boys and girls. Take that right across. Take it down to some of these areas where we left it bare. And then we're going to work on our landscape. Nicely done. 
done. You just want to cover your canvas to start. Then we'll start blending that in. Make a nice ground cover. That's your ground cover. Another thing we want to do is add a little bit of black to it. Just a tad of black. You can blend it with your white a little bit. And you can go across here. Just kind of wherever. Just slowly going across, blending it in. And you got some hills, little crevices in the sand. There you have it. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna add our surreal crazy bits to it. So there it is. That's your horizon line. We got our land. We got our sky filled in. And on to the next step. Now that's dried to the touch. We're gonna go ahead and add some more colors to our palette. We got this uh, light portrait pink. And uh, whatever colors you want to add to it to make it crazy, we're going to add some red, some green, some blues, whole effing rainbow boys and girls, let's get it flowing. I've also switched my brush to a smaller bristle brush. This is a uh, Winsor & Newton Series 237, it's a number 9, it's a lot shorter, we can get a lot more detail in with that. Okay, let's go ahead and add in some of our craziness to our landscape. I'm gonna go ahead, I've got uh, this flush color. Let's start anywhere. Make some shapes. Coming out. The world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. Thank you, my own person. Let's see how first it out. So good. is your oyster. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and favorite. Lots more to come in the future. Have a good day, and I'll see you again next time. Peace out.